If you are into sewing, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. I begin with the creative process of preparing and arranging lace motifs. I use whole pieces as well as bits of lace left from previous orders. As I have already mentioned, it is best to use a mat of a contrasting color for laying out the motifs. It will help you tell the face of a motif from its underside and arrange motifs in a mirrored fashion. The whole process is based on the following principle. I start from larger motifs and then use smaller ones to fill in the gaps. I find it even easier to start by putting down a large whole sheet of lace as a background. This lace has rather big cutout areas and is easy to glue on. I will fill the gaps along the top with additional elements, flowers for example. It will look gorgeous. The key is to make sure all elements have the same shades and texture. Afterwards, I will work with smaller elements to cover up any remaining gaps. I trace the resulting contour of the neckline with a marker, put down my piece of lace, and start gluing it on. You should start by gluing in the central parts of the cups, and then carefully move around the perimeter. Don't use too much glue. You only need to secure large elements. Notch out any excess and avoid unnecessary thickness when you're arranging the lace over the dart. Don't glue it on too close to the side seams at this stage. And please remember, you need to glue the lace elements on even if you plan to sew them on by hand later. Our next task is to lay out a lace border along the edges. All motifs should be placed perfectly symmetrically. Symmetry is everything. This is, so to say, the face of our garment. I have designed and glued on a perfectly symmetric collar. And now, I fill in the gaps in the cups with flowers. The technique is the same as always. First, I smear a part of a motif with glue and put it in place. Once I feel confident about its location, I glue on the rest of it. First, I cover up the largest gaps and then I add smaller elements if it doesn't feel like enough. You fill in the entire surface this way.
Here is what I got at this stage. The best way to check if the pattern is symmetric is to look at its reverse image in a mirror. Any asymmetric spots or flaws will be obvious. I think it looks well enough. 